here before one fall. On the way to the ring, Nia Jax and Tamina. Guys, we have a big time tag team match coming up here. A big time match with big time stakes, Michael. Neither one of these superstars can afford a loss right now. WWE Universe, you are looking at a superstar who is simply blessed to be the best. Just naturally better than everybody else, even when only doing the bare minimum. When you talk about some of that natural athletic talent, Corey. Bianca's been exceptional her entire life. She earned all SEC and All-American honors in track and field at the University of Tennessee. And if you just ask her, she'll tell you why she's better than everybody else. You got eyes, Byron, you understand. A freak in the weight room, a beast in the ring. Bianca Belair can do it all. And she's got a lethal hair whip. Here comes the war goddess. Her entrance is just as unique as her offensive playbook. Stay with us, we've got a huge tag team match coming up. And both these teams coming in tonight looking to make a statement, which means we might see these two teams do things we've never seen them do in the past. The tag team action underway here. Ooh! Oh, clothesline! Beautiful technique. Oh, destroy your face. Max Handel finds the mark. Ooh, what impact. Dominating shoulder tackle. Nia Jax seems to have lost a step now. Her and her partner make it a great tag team. We'll see what they're made of here. The good news is that if it gets too out of control, oh, she has her partner she can tag in while she catches her breath in the corner. I definitely didn't anticipate her struggling so much, but hey, crazy Jeez. things have happened here in the WWE. James Ellsworth, 2016, is a perfect example of that. Oh, what a strike to the back. There's a tag. Opponent off the ropes. Big backdrop. 
shoulders on the mat. There have been times in sports entertainment when unlikely duos have formed, and over time they develop and bond and become an outstanding tag team combination. The team that immediately comes to mind is the powerhouse duo of Cesaro and Sheamus. After their thrilling best of seven series, I wouldn't think they'd develop into a top tag team. Incredible impact. This might be it. Oh, my. I don't think anyone thought Cesaro and Sheamus would develop into a premier tag team. Over time, the superstars realized that they were better as allies than as enemies. And when they combined their incredible strength, the results were something that couldn't be ignored. It was really unbelievable to witness the evolution of Cesaro and Sheamus as a team. We saw them improve every week and conquer. Got the shoulders down. You're not going to win any matches that easily. She got her shoulder up, and we continue. Over the last few years, the tag team scene in WWE is hotter than it's ever been. One of the teams that has shined brighter than any other is the New Day. Xavier Woods, Big E, and Kofi Kingston are two-time tag team champions. But it was their second reign that put the New Day name in WWE history books forever. The tag team competition right now is as heated as it's ever been since the Attitude Era. Everywhere you look, there's another tremendous tag team combination. Looking to make a run at the WWE Tag Team Gold. When we talk about the New Day, the team won a fatal four-way match in their second tag team title reign at 2015's SummerSlam. I may think the power of positivity stinks like a bag of rotting garbage, and that Woods, Kingston, and Big E are idiots, but I'll give the New Day this. They're one of the greatest tag teams ever. And what put them in that category was when their tag team championship reign lasted a record setting 483 days. When a superstar is in a tag team match and has endured heavy amounts of punishment, they must find a way back to their corner to tag their partner. Something that they have to try is doing creates separation between them and their opponent. That space gives a superstar the ability to move and catch their breath. Only one place to go when you're stuck in the fireman's carry. Yeah down and i can tell you it's not a pleasant trip Corey, you touched on this before part of a tag team's ability to be successful is their ability to endure punishment and make their way to their partner when they need to tag out one way to do that is to create that separation you spoke of so they have some space to gather themselves and time to make their way back to the corner you're absolutely right michael what's the use of having a tag team partner if you're not able to get to them when you got to tag out of the match Getting that separation is key in breaking any momentum your opponents could have may be the difference between a win and a loss. Maybe even more. And no luck against Bianca Belair there. Tamina Snuka just barely got out of the way. Max Handle finds its target. Oh, man, what a hit. Knocked right off. They're going to lock it in here. She somehow breaks free. But you have to wonder how much damage was done. DDT! Can she keep her down? And she kicks out with relative ease. Too early in the match to end it. Look at her go. In order to be a premier tag team, a superstar and their teammate must have that continuity where they're a well over. Nia Jax. Oh. Nia Jax and a leg drop. Thunderous leg drop. What a comeback. The situation just got real bad for Bianca Belair. And there's the tag. Tamina into the ring. Big backdrop. Corey, a few moments ago, you took us through what it takes for a tag team to be successful. The continuity between tag team partners is crucial. When a team is able to keep one opponent in the ring for an extended period of time without making a tag, they're able to focus their attack on one end of... Here we go. The silver kick! I bet you feel foolish. She's clearly not getting paid by the hour. And Bianca Belair with a quick kick out. She's still in this one. Oh, man, she's rolling now. In a tag team contest, a superstar and partner lock up against another duo. Unless there's a special stipulation added to the match, the traditional rules of a singles match apply in terms of winning the match via pinfall, submission, 
count out or disqualification. Uh-oh. Oh, my God, what a move. I don't think she should challenge her. In a stand, Bianca Belair, big move coming. Oof. And she looked like she had no chance just a few moments. And will this be it? Yes. Two kicks out in time. She is ready for a fight tonight. Tamina Snuka just barely got out of the way. the irresistible forces in action here. As her name implies, she's a tough competitor to overcome. Any ideas on how an opponent can prepare for Nia? I'd say it's nearly impossible to take down Nia, but the few times Jax has lost has been due to competition with serious submission skills. We've seen arm bars and sleeper holds make the few dents in Nia's otherwise impressive records. Going back to the discussion of submission holds succeeding against Nia Jax, Bailey used the sleeper hold to retain the NXT Women's Championship. And Asuka locked in an arm bar for two whole minutes to beat Nia on Raw. And then there's Ronda Rousey, who skillfully used her variety of submissions against the irresistible force. Yeah, but we're talking about Ronda Rousey, Bailey, and Asuka here. Three. Handstand. Raw fantastic ability from Ember Moon. He's back in full control now. For many years, members of the WWE Universe and the WWE Locker Room have felt that tag team map. Ember Moon is getting ripped. you got to believe this one's over. This one's over, guys. Clearly going for it all with a move like that. They did it. They won the match. We got our money's worth for that one. Take a look. When any superstar, man or woman, is able to find a way to win a match as entertaining and action-filled as that one, they should be grateful and really proud. Some great stuff. I can watch highlights of that one all night long. One of the great WWE matches I've ever been able to watch. You heard the ring announcer, this one's over. And here's your winner. Well, when you put women like these together, what do you expect to happen? With that win of the books, we must now move on.